YouTube, Mr. Dodo 449 here, and today it's time for the 300 subscribers special video that I've been mentioning. And yeah, I give you a little hint uh, earlier on, and uh, hopefully you now know it's the Backman model. And yeah, I think it's a really nice model actually. So we'll get away from it. I just first of all start off by saying this is the 300 subscribers special, a uh, sort of I'm back little sort of special video, and also I decided to buy myself a little present when I got home. So yeah, it's sort of three things there, but it's mainly the subscribers thing. Just thank you so much to everyone who clicked that subscribe button. Over the past three months or something since I've been away, I've basically got like 79, 80 new subscribers, which is absolutely brilliant news. I'm well over 300 now subscribers, and I'm coming up to 350 soon, so this is a bit of a late video. But anyway, yeah, it's a really, really nice model, this. And, uh, I've already taken them out of the box, um, so yeah, that takes a bit of time, but I'll just show you the box. Backman, um, this is one of their slightly more, more newer models, maybe 2008, something like that, it was built 2007. Um, it's a class 56XX uh, in GWR green livery, uh, it looks really really nice actually, you'll see that in a minute. Um, it came with the ice cube uh, packaging, or the ice block packaging, um, it's still got three, it's got three month warranty and stuff on it like that. Um, I brought it second hand from my local, well from the local model shop. £45 it cost me. Uh, for this loco, basically mint, brand new condition, second hand. When I talked to the guy, it turned out that a guy had sold all his railway stuff and then he just had basically brought locos and stuck them in glass cabinets in their boxes and never used them. So I've actually had to do um, running in on this loco, which I've done now, so it's all run in, which is cool. Uh, running in is very important for new locos, it wears all the gears in, uh, all the motors get a chance to wear in, it stops anything getting damaged. If you go and put a, I know, a six coach train on the back of this loco, it could cause damage or misalignment to um, gears and stuff. So always run in the loco. But anyway, yeah, so it's a class 56. I'll just show you the box. I don't think my camera's going to focus on it properly. But it's a class 56XX tank. Um, number, the loco number is 6623, obviously in GW Green. And if anyone's interested, the model number from Backman is 32-075C. Now, it's, it's an 8-pin DCC uh, ready. It's not fitted, so if I want to change everything DCC, I can with this loco very easily, which is good news. Um, on the back, there's a good bit of, sort of history about the loco. Um, I will just briefly read what it says. I read through it once. Um, basically, this loco was designed to pull freight. Uh, it did occasionally do passenger trains when needed. And it was designed in the, uh, the latter stages of the GWR, sort of the big four grouping. Uh, just before it turned into BR. Um, it was designed by C.B. Collett, who was one of GWR's sort of main designers. He built quite a, designed quite a few locos. Um, it's, well, you'll see the configuration in a minute. It was introduced in, uh, was it 1924, uh, was when it was uh, first introduced, and it used um, sort of uh, the, the new Collett innovations and things like that, and it was really up to date when it was built. There were 200 of them built and they were made in Swindon from um, 20, 1924 to 28. so they built 200 in sort of four years which is quite well that's going some um, and they sort of worked around in the southwest which is why I'm modelling Bristol, uh, it also says Worcestershire, Wolverhampton and London areas um, it, yeah as they said freight passengers uh, yep and then it passed through the nationalisation in 1948 so it became BR and they kept using them until 1962 which is when they started to withdraw them and by 1965 they'd all been withdrawn except from nine of them which were saved for preservation um, reasons and stuff so I'll just bring her into shot I'm going to have to move the camera down I reckon oh well, of course when I say bring her into shot there we go Stung loco. Right, don't worry about the details and stuff. I'm going to take some uh, high quality photos in a minute and stick that on. I do, I've worked out that's probably the best way of getting all the details shown properly. Um, I do have a new camera, but I've got no editing software, so <laughs> it's kind of irritating. Um, I have got a new camera, I will be using it as soon as I buy some editing software. But anyway, it's an absolutely stunning loco. Um, as I said, I'm not going to pick her up and move around like I normally do. Um, 
because, well, the photos are going to show the detail. But as you can see, it's beautiful riveting, and the light picks up really nicely. Uh, there's loads of detailing on top of the water tank and so on. Uh, the coal at the back is uh, the only thing I'd say is a little bit disappointing is the coal at the back. It's basically shiny. Um, I prefer that to be dusty, so if I want to, I might add coal dust onto the back there to weather it down a little bit. Um, I will probably weather the whole of this loco down as well. I prefer a loco that looks weathered. I think it looks a lot better. But the configuration is what I really like about this loco. It's a zero, no wheels at the front, six, six driving wheels, two, two at the back. Now these are not on a bogey. These are just freely moving in their socket like that. Um, and I really like that. It really it works absolutely fine going around bends. It's gone around second radius bends absolutely fine. Um, no problems at all, both directions. So that's really good news. Uh, it's got sprung buffers both front and back, which is good. It's got the smaller uh, couplings, tension lock couplings, which is good news for me because that's actually the size I'd like to get all my locos to, or maybe the size one up. But anyway, that's really good. There's actually detailing in the cab. Um, I doubt my camera's going to pick it up, so I'm not going to try, but I've taken in a good photo and you can see it really clearly. Um, just basically, they painted in a brake pipe, um, a brake pipe, sorry, brake handle, um, and then there's just molded detail into the cab, which looks really good. So, yeah, it comes in the standard uh, GWR livery, nice and crisp and clear. Really nice dark green colour, um, and I just think it looks really, really good. Another nice thing about this loco is it's been geared down, so it's got quite a lot of pulling power. Um, so for the size of the loco, I reckon it will pull quite long trains. As you can see, right, I'm going to take her onto the main line now, this bit here, and we're going to just see her doing a little bit of running, and you can see um, how nicely she's geared. Really nice slow runner. Um, on the DC controller, that is like 10 o'clock. People who know, and it's just it just pulls absolutely brilliantly. Let's go right down. That's the slowest she'll go. Mm, oh no. Okay, that's quite ridiculous for DC. Uh, no, it's just hit a dead spot in the track. Okay, that's very smooth moving what she's doing now. And I'm gonna So she is definitely moving. And then this is the controller she's on, and that's the speed setting. Okay, and that is unbelievably impressive for DC. Um people who know locos they just, they just aren't meant to do that. <laughs> so that's that's really impressive. And um yeah, as you can see it does that because it's all been geared down. So, um, even when you go fast, there's not much difference. I'll just speed her up a little bit. Bring her the other way. She's just an absolutely superb loco. I would massively rate um, Backman models. This one here is another superb example of their model range. And, well, what can you say? It's, it's £45 and it's an absolute bargain. Um, so yeah, so I found it in the shop and I just thought I had to have it at that price. Superb loco, I would love to uh, to go enter the shop again and find another loco the same. It's just absolutely brilliant. So yeah, so that's a newer uh, model to my um, to my collection, the 56XX GWR. Um, yeah, superb model, highly recommend anyone buying it. It's a 10 out of 10 loco. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, just finish by saying thank you to all the subscribers um, for well, obviously subscribing, your comments, your likes, your views. It's, appreciate all of it. And yeah, it's good to be back. So thanks for watching.